Hello, my name's Becky, welcome to my video. Um, today I've got two things to tell you about. One is um, a Sewaholic can be dress hack, and the other one is introducing you to my favorite chocolate cake. Plus I'm joined by a special guest today, uh, my dog Bentley. So firstly, I wanted to tell you about um, my Sewaholic can be dress hack. Um, if you're not familiar with this uh, pattern, I'll just uh, pop it a little bit closer to the camera there. Um, so I made uh, version A, or should I say, I based my hack on version A. Um, so basically what I did, um, it was my make was made as part of um, a Maneva Crafts make. So basically Maneva Crafts sent me some denim fabric um, and with that I made a denim skirt based on this dress pattern. So I used the skirt from version A of the pattern pack um, and basically made this skirt that I'm wearing. I don't know if you can see it too well on the camera there, I'll just pop this down on the floor. So it's got um, the pockets at the front which are really, really helpful. Hello. Um, and um, basically to make the waistband for it, I literally cut two rectangular pieces of fabric after measuring my waist measurement, then added on 1.5 centimetre for the centre back seam, um, so that I could sew that up uh, with a, a good amount of room. Um, and yeah, here we are. So um, the original pattern says to cut the front piece on the fold. Um, however, um, the denim that I got sent has got literally no stretch in it at all. Um, so what I decided to do was um, cut the uh, front section in two instead. Um, so basically cutting them on the bias just to allow me a little bit of extra uh, wiggle room. Um, I don't like to feel too confined in the clothes that I'm wearing. Um, so with this one, um, I decided, like I say, to cut it on the bias and that worked a little bit better for me. Um, I also did the same uh, with the back section as well. Um, it's a fairly high-waisted skirt, so um, it feels nice and fitted um, around the waist area, and then it kicks out a little bit further down into this nice A-line style. Um, I'll pop a, a picture on the screen of me actually wearing um, the skirt so you can see it a little bit better than you can at the moment. But um, I used a, an eight inch zipper in the back of the skirt. Um, if I'm honest, if I was to make it again, I'd probably make the zip a little bit longer at the back, maybe a nine inch or something like that, just to make it a little bit easier for me actually to get in and out of the skirt. But it's no big deal. I can obviously wear the skirt. I really like it. I've been wearing it out. Um, I made it a few months ago actually, um, but it only went onto the Maneva Crafts blog um, over the last week or so. So yeah, um, I recommend the pattern if you've not tried it. The um, Sewaholic patterns are made for pear-shaped stitches uh, like myself. Um, I'm much uh, wider on my bottom half than I am on my top half. Um, so th those patterns really work well for me. Um, the second thing I wanted to show you today uh, was a chocolate cake recipe that I came across recently. Um, I've made it um, really quickly after work um, and also on the weekend. I have got a little bit of a sweet tooth. Uh, I do quite like to make cakes for when I've got people coming over. So um, if you just bear with me, I'm just gonna pop into my kitchen and I'm gonna show you how to make the cake. So I wanted to introduce you to one of my other favourite um, pastimes, which is actually cooking, um, and in particular baking. Um, I do spend quite a lot of my time baking, uh, whether it be in the evening after work or at the weekends, uh, which is always a bit of a favourite with my friends when they come over for um, dinner and whatnot. So I think a, a, a lot of people do look forward to having a, a try of something different when they come over, uh, which is great from my point of view because then I get to try lots of new recipes as well. So um, today I wanted to share with you uh, my favourite chocolate cake of the moment, which is actually a Nutella chocolate cake. Um, so to make the cake, um, you need some uh, self-braising flour, uh, you need some eggs, um, Nutella, butter, sugar. This is a recipe that I found on uh, the BBC Good Food website. Um, and in my view, it's a winner. So I'm putting in my self-raising flour, it's making a bit of a mess, uh, I'm putting in my sugar. Now it does say to use caster sugar for this recipe, uh, but I tend to use um, just granulated sugar, uh, which I, I picked up from my local shop. They don't always have caster sugar, but that tends to work quite well for me, so tip that one in. Um, next, I'm gonna put in uh, butter. It does say unsalted butter, but I tend to use um, margarine instead, which works perfectly well. Um, it does work best if it's at room temperature or uh, a little bit melty. So what I tend to do is just pop it in the microwave for say 30 seconds um, and uh, that just kind of speeds along the process of, of my mixing. 
Here we go. So the butter is a little bit uh, melted now, so that just makes it nice and easy to mix. I'm just going to tip that in. Use my nice uh, wooden spoon here just to get the remainder that's in the bowl. So at that point, I just give everything a really good mix. So next, I'm going to add in my three large eggs. Now I'm just going to add in my milk to the recipe. I've just got um, semi-skimmed milk here. Um, it tends to be what we have, but if you have whole milk or uh, skimmed, that probably work fine as well. Um, you do need to add in two tablespoons if you are going to put the milk in. Um, I'm a little bit lazy and sometimes if I don't have a spoon to hand, I just tend to use the milk lid instead, which works perfectly well. Um, so um, here we go. So that's one and two. Might not be an exact measurement, but you know, life's too short to worry about those things. And again, just give it a really good mix. The thing I like about this recipe is a lot of the things that are going into the cake, I would already have in. Um, because I do quite a lot of baking, I've normally got self-raising flour, um, sugar and that kind of thing. Like I said, I normally have uh, Nutella quite a lot, so that's in my cupboard. Um, and eggs, we go through so many eggs in this house, it's unbelievable whether we're having uh, scrambled eggs, fried eggs, uh, boiled eggs in our salad or uh, anything like that. So um, yeah, I've often thought perhaps we should keep some chickens or something like that. Um, but uh, we don't at the moment, but maybe that's something for the future. So next I'm going to be adding in my, my Nutella. So you need 250 grams of Nutella, which I'm just going to measure out. I'm then going to blast that in the microwave for again about 20 seconds or so. Um, this is not what it says to do in the actual uh, recipe, but these are just things that I think tend to work well when I make the cake. Okay, so I've now got the Nutella out of the um, microwave, which is great. You can see it's a little bit runny in its consistency. So I'm now going to add that into my um, main mixture. So we're going to use the same spoon and we're just going to pour it all in. So what you'll find is that um, initially the mixture doesn't actually look too chocolatey, uh, but then after that when you've given it a little bit of a mix for just a couple of minutes, just make sure you get all the lumps out of the, um, out of the mixture that you've got in the bowl there, um, so it's a nice kind of creamy consistency all the way through. Okay, so here we go, we're just mixing it all together, um, put a lot of power into that arm, mix it, mix, 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 mix. Okay, I think we're all set for the mixture to go in the oven. Uh, rather than using a tin, I tend to use um, this um, silicone uh, hold instead, uh, which I really like. Uh, it's really kind of bendy, flexible, tends to make it really easy to get the cake out of the oven afterwards. So I wish you could smell this because it actually smells like really, really nutty, like you'd, like you'd imagine, um, just like the Nutella really, I suppose, which is, probably seems like a silly thing to say, but um, yeah, it's a lovely, lovely smell if you do like nuts. Um, I tend to put a timer on my phone because the amount of time that I've actually forgotten um, to come back from my cake and I've been doing something else and then I think, oh my goodness, I forgot the cake, um, so I end up coming back, so, um, and sometimes my cake ends up being burnt, which is not exactly what we want, so um, I would recommend st setting a little uh, reminder on your, on your phone or on a clock or something, um, and that, unless, you know, you're just really good at remembering things unlike me. So here we go, I'm just going to pop this in the oven. Okay, I'm now back from my dog walk, so I'm maybe looking a little bit blown around, but um, never mind. So um, here we are, and I'm just going to um, ice my cake. So um, it's really, really easy to do if you just buy the spreadable icing. Um, I go for this quite a lot just because it's nice and easy, and to be honest with you, I'm rubbish at making icing. So yeah, you just spread that on. Spread that all over your cake, and then when you've done that, literally sprinkle on your hundreds and thousands. So that's it, that's today's video all done. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it, I know it's been a little bit different, um, but if you did enjoy watching the video, please do hit the like button and um, subscribe to my channel as well. Um, I really enjoy making these videos and it really does mean a lot to me um, that you watch them and that you enjoy them. Um, so until next time, I'm gonna leave it there. Uh, but again, thank you so much for watching and until next time, see you later.